So now that we've got all our parts masked, uh, you want to give them one more once over, and just to make sure that your mask is down all the way. And to make sure you did mask everything correctly, make sure there's no gaps, no nothing. This will help ensure that you don't have to redo stuff later on. Now, uh, why before? Well, I'm also going to be painting some of them a little, the same color you painted some of the insides on the main part of the aircraft. I'm also going to uh, retouch the aircraft as well since some of the areas that we glued will probably have lost their coloration plus combined with the sanding we did earlier it's just a good idea to go over it again just to make sure you got everything and everything's painted correctly so uh, I'm gonna go do that now that the parts have had a chance to drive we now go in and do some touching up specifically here on the seat you can see some mass wasn't perfect so we got some bleeding and I don't know if, how well this is going to show up, but but basically there are a couple areas where the paint is either slipped under or the mask overlaid more than it should have. First I'm going to just touch up the areas around the cushion. Just want a little bit on your brush for this. Okay. And you just fairly lightly and carefully gonna go with it. There is that need touching up. You don't need to be very heavy handed, you just need just a little. So I'm not talking too much, I'm just trying to concentrate and make sure I do this right. So just to save time, we'll also get the other area that on the back of the seat area. Again, you can use pretty much the same type of method, but obviously then just slow, easy strokes. Don't need to be too heavy, just take it slow and easy. More concern here with precision. Okay then, now I'm just gonna let that dry and then we can continue with assembling the cockpit. Alright, now we have all the parts ready to go, painted, assembled, now it's time to finally put it together. Now. For this, I like using uh, Zappa Gap Super Glue, uh, mainly because it's quick, it's easy, and I can get a decent amount of control. Now, I'm, for this particular model, I'm going to attach the seat first, since it would be a lot easier to get it in this way than try to get it in later. Uh, deciding to put this in now better than later is something that uh, you'll have to basically make a judgment call. Um, in general, I usually leave the seats out till uh, the very end. 
Uh, there are some cases where I will go ahead and attach the seat, but like I said, that's something you gotta basically make a judgment call on uh, based on individuals' uh, circumstance of the kit. Okay. All right. Now, um, another thing I'm actually going to go ahead and do on this kit, which I don't all normally do, is uh, go ahead and put the control stick in now rather than later. Um, this is mainly because um, this is actually a fairly deep cockpit tub, so I don't foresee there being any real problem attaching it now rather than later. Uh, typically, when I um, am doing cockpits, there's something I leave out as it makes it easier for uh, blocking up the cockpit when I'm painting the rest of the body. And just a general cross and keep from breaking it. But I don't see that being too much of a problem. Now, when you're working with super glue, you just Generally, want to add just a little bit, as that's all you really need. So, I'm taking this off camera, just need a little more light. Okay, and now go ahead and attach the back area. I'm actually, gonna put the glue on this part. To spread it out. Now to try and do this without gluing my fingers. Yeah, that's an another thing with uh, super glue is you do gotta be kind of careful not to glue yourself to the kit. As <laughs> that's always fun trying to get off later. Okay. And last, we just about time and good timing. Attach the. Instrument panel and yeah, go ahead and did that up. Sorry, again, trying to get a little more light. Uh, all right, so I'm just about time. I'll go ahead and just finish doing this off camera. But yeah, and I'll do it for the cut, and come back, and we'll do some more.